Hey guys, um, it's week 59, and yeah, this is late, and yeah, this is recorded on my phone. Um, still trying to catch up from premiere week, um, and like, the things before that, and everything is getting due now. Getting due is starting to become due now, because, um, it's almost the end of the semester for me for college, and, uh, just forgive me. Uh, I'll have like a month off for a uh, break and then, you know, some beginning of the semester is usually pretty easy, so hopefully I'll have some more quality videos in, like, three or four weeks. Um, yeah, I think there's three weeks left of the semester. We're done the, uh, week of, like, the 12th or something like that of December. So, hopefully soon enough, uh, good videos will be back, but this one has to be kind of short, but, uh, speaking of premiere week, that is our theme this week, because we don't want to talk about Breaking Dawn yet, and what we thought about the movie and stuff, um, because some countries don't have that, so I think we'll be doing that around the time that I'm done with school, um, because then it's, like, mo most people have gotten it by then, I know that there's probably a couple countries that aren't getting it until, like, February, you know, but, um, we're just gonna, we're gonna wait a little bit longer. And, uh, anyway, so, obviously, you know that me and, um, Taylor, and then I also had two other friends from Australia that we all went to the premiere together, and, um, we had a f great time, and I have to say, this wasn't the best premiere, um, I think the campout section of it was better last year at the, um, at the Breaking Dawn Part 1 premiere, um, just because I feel like they had it really well organized and they had stuff for us to do, and, um, it was very good. Uh, and then this one was, like, not so well organized, and we kind of kept having to move, and we felt like our group kind of needed, um, like, special treatment, because they, tr they, they, they kept making us do stuff, and, like, it kept being unfair to us. Um, and they ended up giving us, like, a little bit of better surprise, um, when all the stars came by. We had, like, the better stars, like, the bigger ones, like, um, you know, Jackson came by, and Peter came by, and... I don't remember who else, but, like, bigger stars rather than, like, the new vampires, although we did get a couple of those, too. Um, Boo Boo came by, uh, things like that, so that was supposed to be, like, making up for it. And then, um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, it didn't really matter to me because I've already seen all of them, but anyway, so... The premiere last year was better, um, you guys obviously should have seen, like, the whole big 20 minute long video that I made, um, and then for the premiere-wise, it definitely wasn't bad. Um, I can't say that it was amazing, and it could have definitely gone better, but I'm, I am content with what happened, you know, like, I, I, it was a good way to end the last premiere if I couldn't have gotten what I really wanted, you know. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my video on my channel. I actually met and talked to Papa Stu, and he promised to give Kristen my bracelet that I made for her, because that's, like, the whole big thing. Like, that's my main goal at the premieres, is just to give Kristen the bracelet. Um, just because, like, I kind of want to be remembered. That's, like, my big goal right now, because if she can remember me for the bracelets, then she'll start to remember me because of my face, and then it's, like, you know, I don't know, I just, I want to be, like, a special fan, you know what I mean? Um, like, okay, there were two really big fans there that Kristen recognized. One was, um, Heather, who did the, um, who won the Swath fan thingy where she interviewed Kristen in London and had, like, to ride her horse and stuff like that. And then also, I do not know what the guy's name is, but it's the guy that always takes pictures with Kristen. Um, I think the first time he met her was at the, the hand and footprint ceremony. I'm pretty sure you guys all know what I'm talking about. He's... I don't know, he has short, like, blackish hair, and he's just, he's taken, like, seven pictures with her, so, um, anyways, it's, it's that guy, the, the Kristen guy, um, they were there, and they were, like, hanging out and stuff, and I was like, I, I know that they got recognized by Kristen, I mean, obviously, you know, if we can recognize them as fans, I'm sure she recognized them as, as fans, um, and so, like, I was like, I want to be like that now, you know, like, I don't, I don't think I'll ever reach that level, because, like, fans know who they are. You know, I don't think I'll ever have, like, fans recognize me, like, as the bracelet girl or whatever, but I want Kristen to recognize me. Um, anyways, I'm rambling a lot about that, and that really doesn't matter, but, um, if you haven't seen my video of me and Papa Stu, I have it all record- I, I have my mom record it, and- oh, he calls my mom a good mom. It was so funny. My mom was, like, freaking out. She was like, oh my gosh, Kristen's dad called me a good mom, and I was like, oh, you're fangirling. Um, anyways, so, that was cool, and, um, yeah, so go watch that on my channel, and, oh gosh, I'm so sad I rained, um, uh, so, uh, premiere stuff, like, other premieres, uh, 
I did, I'm not sure if I like what she was wearing at the um, London premiere. Like, she looks good, but I don't know. It's a bit much skin for me. Like, it's not even just like, you know. Okay, like, I I don't know how Rob stands stands it because like, if you know if I were if I were dating Kristen, pff, like that whatever happened. But anyways, like you know I wouldn't I wouldn't want them wearing that that shows that much skin. But she looks good and stuff. I mean, of course she looked great, you know. I don't know. I, 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 I wish she had covered up just, like, a little bit. Like, maybe if she had put something underneath, like, a tank top or something, you know. I, I mean, it's not supposed to be like that, but you know what I mean? Like, just a, just a little more covered up. Just a little. Like, a bra or something. Because um, she was, like, two seconds away from a nip flash, nip slip. So, um, but yeah, I liked what she wore to, um, to the LA premiere, though. Like, it was it was very sheer, but you could totally tell that there was she was wearing like a body liner thingy underneath. Like, um, you know, I mean, obviously you could see all of her legs and you could see her underwear, or whatever she was wearing. I don't know if it was part of the dress or if it was just nude underwear, but um, I don't know. I liked it, and it wasn't. I mean, you could tell if you looked, but when you first saw it, it looked like there was something underneath, like a little sheer, like nude under underlay thing. Um, and I thought I thought it was so pretty. I love I loved. That dress, sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, oh gosh, I'm so running out of time. My phone only has, like, a minute left for me to record. But, um, yeah, I love that dress. I loved her hair, I loved her makeup. I have lots of pictures, and I have been really behind on uploading those pictures, and I haven't posted much to Instagram or anything like that. Um, but I'm gonna probably make another video, but I cannot guarantee that it's gonna be up. It's probably gonna be pretty late, but I'll make another video of Tent City and stuff, and I think Taylor's gonna do the same. And, uh, I love the yellow dress that she wore at whatever that event was, and, um, yeah. Okay, that's it. I, I have, I'm running out of time, okay. Uh, I love you all, and I'll see you in a couple weeks, uh, or two weeks, whatever. Bye. <laughs>